This show is sponsored by ODYS Global. Make sure that you do sign up and get a free $100 bonus by checking out ODYS Global's Age Domains or Done For You affiliate websites. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 34 of SEO Tells. My name is Itamar Blauer, I'm joined by Craig Campbell and today we're going to be talking about social media platforms and we're just going to be giving our ratings as to which ones we feel from personal experience have led to the most success within digital marketing in general. Um, so I guess let's just start off, Craig, let's uh, name some social media platforms and then we can just give a rating out of 10 and then explain why. So let's do it. <laughs> give me one. Let's go. Throw them out there. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Um, eight. Eight. Um, I would say, I would probably give it a, a seven. Um, it's not as effective as it once was. It's a bit sp- full of spam, but yeah, it, it can still work reasonably well getting direct to the right people if you use your noggin um <laughs> yeah it's quite situational linkedin isn't it I, th- I think if you want to get the most out of it you need to come at it with a strategy so it's not going to be like one of those social media platforms where you can just kind of go in there straight away and see some results it, it takes a lot of thinking um and i think linkedin what if you are able to kind of get through that stage of, of thinking about a strategy to using LinkedIn, either if it's to build connections or if it's to build engagement, um, you'll do quite well. Because I think uh, in general, it's quite easy to get good engagement on LinkedIn. And I mean, we've seen stuff now where everyone's uh, completely running down the whole, you know, put up an image with different options and then people can either like it or love it or give the green clapping thing. And it's just, Ad, like just farming engagement LinkedIn is is as a social media platform now I think so you know whilst that's still powerful uh, you know get a strategy going and do it but yeah no I would agree with that as as you see it's a, stra- a strategic thing you can't just go on there and spam the shit out of it um it can be useful getting to the right people you know the if you want to get to the market assistant in a company quite easy to use their, their simple filtering option and, and connect with the right people and uh, if it's used properly with the right strategy then it can be beneficial but so many people use it as a mass spam uh, fest and uh, that is where it can become somewhat irritating so not as effective as it once was but still good if used properly so you give us a platform now all right uh youtube YouTube, uh, uh, I'll give that a 9 out of 10. <laughs> why, why, why are you looking at me like that? I want to know what your score is. Oh, no, I thought you was like, is, is he going to disagree? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, let's see. YouTube. Man. Yeah, because I, I don't really want to give 10s yet. So I, I think I'll, I'll kind of say the same. I think it's a 9. Um, you know, YouTube is, is still a platform. Well, it's been around for ages. Um, but it's still very, very powerful. And I think that's probably what maybe tops it amongst other social media platforms because a lot of other ones will have their kind of golden age um, in terms of when they were best, uh, you know, when you could make the most out of them. But I think with YouTube, it's always been quite a steady uh, growth in terms of how people use it and. Um, you know, you can do so much. That no matter what kind of content creator you are on YouTube, you'll still be able to, over time, find an, an audience and build that up yourself. And I think the the reason maybe why I wouldn't give it a 10 is that there's still some element of luck on YouTube. It's about, you know, making sure you get the right people to find your channel who might want to share it and, and help your content go viral because that's also another part of it. But what, what do you think? Why, why give it a 9? Um, I think, uh, uh, you know, a nine is probably a fair reflection. I think it is decent, as you say. I think more, you know, more and more people are jumping on the YouTube bandwagon in terms of promoting themselves because videos are quite popular. The only downside to it is that kind of ads side of it can be somewhat irritating. And, uh, and, you know, I've had people complain to me 
because I turn monetization on and I like there's too many ads through your videos, mate. And I'm like, all oh, right, I didn't realize that. Um, so they're obviously trying to force people over to the premium subscription. I get they've got to make money. However, it can be very irritating if you're watching a video and you don't have YouTube premium and there's ads every few minutes throughout that video. Um, so for me, that can be a little bit irritating, but still a great platform. Lots of people, you know, tons of people use it and it can be a very effective platform for driving traffic, getting your name out there, building your brand. And as you see, any kind of content creator can use it. It's not just for SEO people. You can pretty much, you know, you get people unboxing presents. You've got, you know, iPhone reviews. You've got computer reviews, drone reviews, anything at all you can really have on there. And uh, for me, it's that's why it gets a slight mark down because of the irritating ads. And But I, I do fully appreciate business is business. They've got to make money somehow. And that's just the nature of the beast. But yeah, that's why it's not a 10 out of 10. Mm hmm Oh, that's fair. I mean, YouTube does, like, it's not a perfect platform. I think the biggest problem that it has currently is monetization, but also bots, because um, bots are still a big problem on YouTube. Like, they'll just comment random crap on your videos, and YouTube just haven't, you know, they haven't figured out a good way of dealing with that, of these bot accounts just yet. So hopefully they sort that out, and then maybe they'll get a 9.5 push, I guess, on the on the rating. But yeah, go ahead, Craig. What's the next one? Um, let's go for Twitter. I know this is going to be one that, that has much debate. Uh, <laughs> I'm only going to give Twitter a 5 out of 10. Um, and, and I'll explain the reasons why after you give us your score and your reason why. Yeah, I mean, I, I always knew you were going to give it a low number. I mean, I thought 5 would be quite generous from, from your take. But I'd give it a, I'd give it a 7, to be honest. Why, why a seven? What kind of traction are you getting from there? What benefits are you getting? From I think, I, I mean, I'm going to just give my answer for as an SEO answer. I think in general, the SEO community is very active on Twitter. That's not to say it's it's the, the channel where they're the most active on, because that channel we haven't got to yet. But I think with Twitter, you it's all about engagement. It's all about conversation. Um, so... I'm someone who likes to do that. I quite like the whole conversation side of it. Um, you know, when you find out how to engage with people the right way and you can build connections, that can be very, very powerful um, for SEO in general. So if it's for like appearing on podcast, if it's for getting to know people, like generally when I started out um, in SEO, the first kind of platform I wanted to really try and use a lot more was Twitter because I did see that there was some value in it. Um, and based on my hunch, that ended up being quite correct. You know, I've managed to get some really solid links from it, um, meet some really cool people. And I think that kind of elevated myself in terms of uh, personal branding in general in the SEO th uh, sphere. But um, that's why I'd give it a seven. I don't think, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you just wonder sometimes, you know, is there a real point of using it that much? Your people can go off on tangents and post random stuff as well on their profiles. That's not really all related to SEO and stuff. So, you know, it's not like a complete platform by any stretch of the imagination. But I just think um, in my personal experience, it's kind of <clears throat> given me that kind of boost. In, in the beginning, but I know you're going to have very, very different things to say. So I'm going to sit back and let's get into it, Craig. Why five? Um, I mean, listen, it's got its benefits. There are a lot of people on there and stuff like that. For me, I just think it's it's full of negativity. Um, you know, you have or people have the opportunity, whether they're friends with you or not. Uh, and, and I know you can lock down your Twitter and make it to, you know, your tweets visible to friends only, but that kind of defeats the purpose as a marketer. You know, you're closing off a lot of potential audience. So I think, you know, people, there's a lot of negativity on it. I think faceless profiles can come on and blast you, um, you know, and, and, and I just think it's it's one of those platforms that's quite faceless. So you can remain anonymous, kind of anonymous. And I don't know if it's a mindset thing where people can just be a little bit ruder on there. And I've always just found that 
on that platform out of all of them that, that I operate on, I just feel that that's one where most of the douchebags hang out <laughs> um, and the one that you get the, the grief from. So like on you know other platforms, you've got the ability to not be friends with these people and people can't see it, but you can still... And I know you can do that with Twitter, but I, I don't know. Um, I've just never had great experiences on Twitter. I, you know, it's all been kind of fairly negative. I only really post on it. I post on it, you know, in terms of showing a video or, or you know, showing a show or, or, or a, you know, something like this, you know, SEO tales. I don't really, I'm not proactive in terms of communicating with people and answering questions or, or you know, doing stuff on there. I also think it's kind of boring. But because you say people can get lost or, you know, you could be having a, an opinion on something or a debate on something, then before you know it, you're debating something completely irrelevant because people just go wild on it. So, um, you know, and, and people start pulling the arguments or debates all over the place. And uh, I think for me, there's not enough time or effort in the day to be kind of leading that back to the, the track you were trying to go on. So I think Twitter's the, the least... You know, for for me personally, the, the the platform I probably use the least. However, it still gets a lot of people. It gets a you know, it gets your name out there, and I think it's still worth having. Um, I just know many people who just feel that the negativity from it is is a little bit OTT, and you can spend your time in better platforms that maybe don't have as much negativity and. That's what everyone wants in life, I think. So just a chilled life. So, yeah, there you go. I've not been that bad to Twitter, so. <laughs> yeah, not as bad as I would have thought. Um, all right, Facebook. Um, I'll give Facebook a, a good nine and a half. Uh, no, in fact, I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Ten out of ten with <laughs> Facebook. Um, and the reasons why I enjoy facebook is i think they're kind of proactive in terms of helping us so you've got the ability to to have a personal profile a page a group and and stuff like that and you can kind of segment your audience or funnel them into the right place so for example my personal profile could essentially remain personal if i wanted it to um i could filter people into a training group if i wanted to have more training stuff on there without annoying the hell out of my friends um, and you can have a page that uh, can be for your business so you can really segment it out that said um my personal profile is pretty much full of digital marketing people i don't i wouldn't call it a personal profile where my family and friends are on there purely because um i, I do think you know on Facebook, things do become a little bit, uh, you know, people come a bit too familiar um, they, and, and stuff like that. And they start adding like your, your mum or your dad and shit like that. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, and I, I've never really had any bad problems with that, but I've just always been like, oh, I thought, you know, like my mum would say, like, why is all these SEO people adding me and, and all of this kind of stuff. So I, I try and segregate it all out altogether. And I've kept my personal profile too the digital marketing community i do have a facebook which is actually for people i grew up with and stuff like that a separate one and uh, i don't post about seo on there but i think as a platform the the groups the the, the ability to have pages um you know the the facebook pixel and now being able to retarget people and a whole bunch of other stuff just make it probably the best platform and i and i do like the personal profile where obviously you can hide a lot of stuff um you can <coughs> you can also stop certain people seeing certain stuff as well um and i think the security functions on there for example if i don't want you to see anything that i post i can share it with the whole world other than you um on facebook you know you've got that ability to be quite granular with the security whereas you know the the previous platform we spoke about you don't have that ability to either lock everyone out or uh, stuff like that so again you can be, you know, proactive in terms of granular stuff that you maybe don't want someone to see. Um, and as I say, fil filtering people into groups and all of that kind of stuff and, and being able to do Facebook Lives and, and uh, 
all of that stuff, I just think it's the all-in-one best platform for me, the one that I enjoy the most as well. I think it's quite visual, and uh, you can kind of see people. I, I mean, I know you will also argue that you can get trolls and stuff like that on there, but delete them and, and move on, and, uh, you know, it's you get them out of your system. Whereas if you have a, a tweet, a Twitter, for example, and you block a guy, you can make up another account in two minutes and come at you again. Do you know what I mean? So um, you've got the ability to decline Facebook friend requests from people may, who maybe have new profiles, or if it's a group, you have the ability to see what they do or ask them questions or whatever. So it's good filtering options on there. So that's why I give it an overall 10. I think it's a really good platform. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I would, I, I'm, I'm only going to say seven because, well, I tried to create another account under the same name just for SEO purposes, and then it just got permanently <laughs> deleted by Facebook. So uh, for me, that's kind of just been an, my own kind of personal uh, kind of uh, backfall, I guess, on that. But I think overall, you know, the stuff that you say um, is really good. I think the only downside of Facebook as well is that people might think that they they know you like when they really don't and then they just start adding you or sending you messages and i feel like on facebook it's just very common um and it can seem a bit more direct than on, on somewhere like linkedin maybe when you get outreach but um but yeah i mean you know it's it's great for the groups i feel like the community in general in like facebook groups for seo can be really good um, so, you know, you can learn a lot from people there. There's a lot of good people on, on Facebook, um, who post SEO stuff. So yeah, I'll just give it a seven. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, but I just haven't fully seen all the benefits yet myself. Um, but I think let's, let's do a kind of quick fire round with just three more platforms, um, a rating and then just one line about them. So let's start with Instagram. Um, five out of ten and because it's just not you can't be that in depth with it it's more for hairdressers and shit so <laughs> that's my one what about you uh do you know i think five because it's just it's it's a bit of effort i think it's it's too much effort to grow organically i think um and if we're speaking seo you know, for God's sake, man, like uh, who's going to be looking for SEO tips on Instagram? It's just not the right platform, in my opinion. So five. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, Reddit. Um, I'm going to see seven out of ten. And uh, I've never really used it that much, to be fair. And it's something I really need to do. Start doing Reddit ads on subreddits that are going to drive real traffic, uh, massively underutilized by me, which is why I'm only going to get a seven. I don't know enough about it to give it any higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give it an eight. And the reason why it's not like a nine or a 10 is I think that there's a lot of people who are just very lazy, a lot of lazy Reddit users who are either like uh, just your, your typical outreach people who they'll just post on like the SEO subreddit, you know, asking if people want guest posts, this, that, and the other, they'll send you messages like that. You know, it's just sad to see. Um, I, th I feel like there are some great Reddit users uh, on like SEO related or digital marketing related subreddits, but there's still a lot of, of crap on there. So I can't really give it higher than an eight. Um, all right, last one, TikTok. <laughs> um, I'll give TikTok a, seven out uh, of ten um i've been uh, and the reason i'm giving it a seven is i've struggled to get uh seo traction from it i thought i could have maybe you utilized the platform to drive a whole bunch of traffic kind of failed in that respect but i do thoroughly enjoy it you give yourself a laugh and i do spend a fair bit of time watching other people dancing around and goofing around so seven out of ten it's just not for this industry in my opinion yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to rate it on that basis and I'm just going to say zero because it's just, you know, I, I mean, as much as I get the platform, I get the use case for it. Um, and by understanding the use case, you will understand that it's not really useful for SEO if you're trying to generate business. It's just not not a thing. So for that reason, it's uh, it's a zero, I'm afraid. But I mean, I think that kind of wraps up. It's quite a nice thing to do. 
um, you know, just giving our personal opinions on these platforms. If you've got any of your own, uh, you know, reasons for why a, a certain platform we mentioned is good or bad or whatever, leave it in the comments, you know, create, have your own list of, of all the ones we said and put a number next to them. Um, but yeah, I think that was quite a fun episode. So thanks guys for watching episode 34 of SEO Tells and we'll catch you next week. Thank you.